Photos of the past are getting a new lease on life. Gerard Nash is the photo mender and he's taking historic photos of this province and making them pop. NTV's Heather Gillis explains. It's one here. This is one of uh, Marconi at the uh, Cabot Tower. Gerard Nash started restoring old photos when he did his family tree about 15 years ago. Well, I use a uh, what's called a tablet, a Wacom tablet. I use a pen because you need to be precise. Since then, restoration work has yeah, become so, uh, a passion. Now he's adding a touch of color to historic nice. black and white photos. We're so used to seeing old pictures in black and white or uh, uh, sepia tone, sepia tone. And, um, you know, you, so you almost start to think of people in the past in, those, in that way. You don't realize that, they, you know, they lived in their lives in color until you stop to think about it. Nash's photos, like this one, offer a window into the past. This is Catherine Butler Boland, the oldest person to vote on Confederation in 1949 at polling station number 62. Here, two boys pose with a codfish from 1910. And Nash also blends current day photos with old ones from days gone by. Nash uses photos from the National Archives, the Provincial Archives, and the U.S. Library of Congress. His work, recoloring photos of the Royal Newfoundland Regiment, is also getting recognition. They've been featured in two documentaries, The Trail of the Caribou and When the Boys Came Home. Nash's photos are also going to be featured in a book. And he's also started a Twitter feed called NL History in Color to share his work with the public. Uh, I must say, it's, that's one of the reasons, one of the things I love most about doing this is the sense of personal satisfaction. When I hear from people who uh, I've colorized the photo for, because in addition to the, the, uh, you know, the hit ones I do for history, I also do uh, commission work for private individuals. When they see them restored and colorized, some of the feedback is just, it's heart, heartwarming. He had never seen a colored picture of his dad before. The hardest part of it all, he says, is getting the colors right. But Nash says a little research pays off. You know, that sweater was green or that jacket was blue, what have you. Heather Gillis, NTV News.